welcome. So I have a really popular Discord channel going right now. It's got um four members. One of them is me, and another one is my wife because I asked her to join. So this issue was pointed out. Basically, if you're holding down the left mouse button to fire, and you start moving, or you stop moving, it will interrupt your attack animation. So then you wouldn't be able to fire properly, unless you stand completely still, or unless you keep moving and firing. Here's my old setup, so I can show you what I've changed. And here's my old events. You might have seen them in the previous videos. I'm not sure exactly what was going wrong, but the, the walking animations and the firing animations were contradicting or cancelling each other out. So I realized I just need to split the characters in half and make the torso and legs function separately. So I opened a sprite and chopped my characters in half and made the torso and legs have their own separate animations. Then I added the characters, torsos and legs as separate sprite objects and put them in their own groups. Then for each character's torso it has the idle, walk, an attack and death animation. For the death animation I kept his legs on just because it was easier that way. And since I was separating the legs and the torso they have separate behaviors as well. So the torso has fire bullet, health, shake and Y sword. And the legs have the same animations idle, walk, attack and not death. Then for the behaviors it has shake, top down movement most important and Y sword. And here are the new events for the updated movement. Now the torso faces the direction of the mouse and the legs will face the direction that you're moving so they work independently. So you can keep firing as long as you hold the left mouse button down and nothing will cancel it out. Oh yes and I added eyeballs as a new enemy type. So the new movement looks pretty good with the wizard. You can't tell his body's split up like that but with the knight here you can see when he attacks his torso moves back quite a bit and his legs kind of stay in place. So it looks a little weird, it looks quite weird I think, but it definitely feels a lot better. When you play it, you'll see, it does feel a lot better, it just looks stranger. Same thing with the ranger, it also looks quite weird the way he's moving back like that, and his legs don't move back with him, but yeah, it feels a lot better, it just looks weirder. What do you think? The last thing I added was this little house with an interior. So if you go stand by the door and then press E, you'll go inside. It just changes the scene to a different scene. And yeah, I'm just figure out what will happen in this room. I'm thinking either a boss fight or it can be like a little shop or something to spend those coins. And I must just add borders and stuff so I don't crawl up the wall like that. Thanks for watching. What do you think I should use this room for? Oh hey, it's me post edit mic. I finished my video already but I thought I'd add just a bit more um, since the discord's grown quite a bit. Now we have seven members looking much better. Just want to thank these fellas here for being the first ones in the group and Yo Kweezy as well. He helped me a lot with a dash mechanic which I'll show you right now. So here we go, you can see the improved movement as well. And I'll just cheat quickly. Uh, my cheat again, dash. So once you select this card once, it'll go away, so you can't choose it again. And then once you enable that, you can dash, you press shift. 
can dash like the flash. I just need to add a cooldown or limit it in some way, otherwise you can just dash around the whole world like this. Oops. Sticky keys. So yeah, got a dash mechanic. Thanks to Yo Queasy for helping me with the events. I'm still not entirely sure how it works even, but it works. And that's all that counts. So here it is. Um, I've added the variable dash. I haven't used GDevelop in like a week or two, and now I'm forgetting everything. This is not good. Where the hell is my... Where are the variables again? Ah, here we go. So yeah, now we've got a dash enable, and is dashing. Checks if your character's dashing or not. And then uh, you choose the dash card, dash enabled, and then controls. There we go. If dash is enabled and you press shift, it'll add a force to your leggies, push you forward. I can't really explain this all well, I don't understand it myself, but there we go. So if you are dashing, it'll create a uh, like a shadow of the legs and the torso behind the character and then the opacity gets uh, subtracted so it kind of just vanishes over a second or two and it just looks really good so thank you Yoqueezy good stuff but yeah lastly consider joining the discord like Pat McGroin did six days ago we got general chats you can keep up to date with my silly little game or you can show your silly little games. Who knows? Anything's possible. Thanks for watching.